traders welcome to this video today i want to go with you through my five favorite quotes from at Coacher. so before we start uh, some words about at Coacher. who is at sekota at Coacher was a pioneer in systematic trend folding trading so in the 80s he developed uh, some uh, yeah first automated um, back-tested trading systems uh, which are 100% technically. So you know, uh, for example, moving average crossover systems and um, yeah, they are um, invented or developed by Ed Secota. Um, you can read about Ed Secota in uh, the first Market Wizard books um, f um, from uh, Jack Schwager and you also can go to Etzekota's website you find everything you want to know about him on uh, Google he was a very successful trader so you can read about him that he turned uh, $5,000 into $15 million in 12 years and um, yeah so very impressive numbers and he was a money manager also so he traded uh, some accounts for clients and the accounts um, have been also very very successful and um, in the last years at Sekota spent a lot of time on the trading tribe so he founded the trading tribe which is yeah, a group of people um, which um, spend a lot of time um, to solve psychological trading issues and he also um, help other peoples to found local trading tribe groups he wrote um, also some uh, books um, one book about trading tribe and i think the second one is more a political um, book and um, yeah i have no idea where he lives today or what he's doing so his life is very very private and um, yeah but you can find some stuff to read about him okay let's start with one of my personal favorite abstract quota quotes and this is to avoid whipsaw losses stop trading um it is a very short quote but it's very deep and um, you know a lot of people have problems with um, sideway, uh, sideways markets so if the stock market is going sideways and you are trading um, a trend following system you will have a lot of losses and a lot of small losses and uh, what he meant with this quote is if you want to avoid those small losses you have to stop your trading system because otherwise it's absolutely normal that you have uh, those small losses in a um, sideways consolidation and there's only one way uh, to to stop those losses and this is stop trading you know there is no secret to avoid those losses and there's no secret indicator uh, or something the only one is really to stop trading and um, he um, did not publish any rules about that so uh, you have to find your own rules when you stop uh, trading maybe if you have a lot of losses in a row then it makes sense to stop trading or start or trade uh, smaller um, but yeah there's a lot of wisdom in this quote uh, and in this very um, short quote the second one is uh, is very difficult um, to understand um, I have my own interpretation with that it's win or lose everybody gets what they want out of the market some people seem to like to lose so they win by losing money I think the first sentence in this quote is the most important win or lose everybody gets what they want out of the market the market is always reflecting your strength and your weaknesses so if you are for a, for example a trader who have um, 
who has problems with over trading so you're trading a lot and you're trading very frequently and you have the feeling that you can't do anything um, against over trading and every attempt that you try to avoid over trading is not successful then you maybe have a very uh, maybe an unconscious um, an unconscious need for excitement so and this is what what at Sekoto here said you get everything what you want of the uh, out of the market so if you search for excitement consciously or unconsciously you will get it from the market if you if you seek entertainment you will get entertainment you can chat with a lot of people about stocks about systems you can talk with them about uh, the newest ipo or some uh, cryptocurrency stuff and you can uh, talk with them if cryptocurrency will replace the monetary system or whatever you find a lot of entertainment uh, also um, in the markets and also um, in trading and of course if you uh, watch tick by tick um, every chart every price movement that's also entertainment you know you're sitting in front of your pc you can watch uh, the markets you don't know what will happen the next second so there's excitement there's entertainment and you get it out of the market um, the second part is is more hard to understand some people seem to like to lose so they win by losing money the thing is um, now you ask yourself well, um, are there any people who like to lose yes maybe not consciously but subconsciously um, there are people who search for pity for example from other people and they will get it so if you lose frequently and everyone uh, says to you oh my god you are losing money or oh, mm, what a pity etc and this is what you get from the market or if you have a very um yeah not a not a, a very um good um image of yourself so you always think you are a loser or you always think that nothing you do is successful you will get it out of the market if you start trading uh, subconsciously you will take losing trade by losing trade you will manipulate yourself and on the other side other people see that and give you confirmation and say okay hmm, oh, you are so a poor guy etc and um, this is what some people search you know this also um, from the medical sides from people who always think they are sick and always think they are, they are ill and they get um, pity from um, other peoples by that and this is the same thing you know and also if you look for example if you look for excitement in the market it doesn't matter if you win or lose you will get excitement from the market and so by losing money you will get what you uh, what you want out of the markets so you win excitement and you lose money this is my interpretation and this, and that's why it's so important to focus on um, on making money on on ex executing your uh, trading system uh, very well so that you focus on uh, on the profit side that you focus on winning in the long term with your trading system because if you focus on that and do the right steps you will um, win in the long run the third quote from Ed Seikota a losing trader can do little to transform himself into a winning trader a losing trader is not going to want to transform himself that's the kind of thing winning traders do you uh, see that the quotes um, from Ed Sekota are very deep but difficult to understand. Um, what does he meant with that? A losing trader can do little to transform himself into a winning trader. Of course, a losing trader can a lot to do 
or can uh, can do a lot to transform him into a winning trader. But the thing is, uh, what Etsekota um, wants uh, to tell us here is, you have to start. You know, you have to start to change yourself. And if you want to change yourself, if you have a, a very strong will to change yourself, you will find a way. And um, if you, for example, have a very uh, multiple very bad behaviors as a trader, so for example, uh, don't um, use stop losses or over trade or um, do not plan your trades, etc. This is something which you can turn off in a second. You can start to change your behavior in a second. And um, there's only one step, you know, you can start to lo- uh, you can start to, to use stop losses. You can start to plan uh, trades. You can um, start to um, only take trades with a high uh, risk reward ratio. You can really start in the next second. And this is what winning traders are doing. They do not think a lot about um, what they lose if they start a new behavior. They start it because they are so focused on winning in the long term and they are so focused on on um, yeah getting uh, or becoming a successful trader that they do everything what is needed to be successful. And that's what I interpret what uh, Ed Sakota um, is saying us with that quote. Quote number four, traders and surfers both have to deal with feelings of missing out on the small ones until the big one comes along. They also have to deal with feelings of staying with the big one. Another very deep quote, but it's it's not so difficult to understand. Um, the key element in this uh, quote is missing out the small ones, you know. What Etzekota tries to say us here is focus on the real big home run trades. Focus on the real good risk reward ratios. You know, you miss out a lot of small traders. Uh, you miss, um, miss out a lot of small trades. But focus on the real big ones. Focus on the trades who have a risk reward ratios of 3 of 5 of 10 of 20 or whatever but let the small uh, let the small trades go let the small trades go that's what you want to say and you know of course you 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 have to limit yourself and you have to um you have to to um yeah wait and have to um and you need patience until the real big um, opportunities uh, show themselves on the market, and you you have to um, withstand the um, feeling of excitement and of of yeah of doing something every day and getting into trades every day. You have to withstand that and really focus on the big things. And it's the same um, like surface. You know, if you are not waiting for the big wave you um, will not have the same feelings and um, and it's here it's the same and in the second part it's a quote to say yeah you have to stay with the big ones you know don't sell them too early make uh, or let those big trades have a big impact on your equity curve let big trades change your life and your trading account that's what you want to say here you have to stay with them and uh, ride the wave. So the last quote, fifth quote um, from Ed Sakota, it can be very expensive to try to convince the market that you are right. Um, yeah, what, uh, what Ed Sakota is saying us here is don't have an ego, you know. Ego is always bad in trading. If you try to convince the market that you are right, you will lose a lot of money. You will hold on to losing trades. You will over trade. You will trade against the trend. You will trade against the market. This is very, very expensive, very, very dangerous. 
because the market is always right. The market is the sum of all decisions of millions of traders and algorithms which are programmed by traders and um, they build the price and they build price moves and they valuate uh, companies on the stock exchange and they are always right you know if the, if the price is going up there are millions of traders who will pay lo uh, who will pay more for a stock and for a company and on the other side if the price go down millions of traders decided okay the company uh, market capi um, capitalization is too high and um, you you your job as a trader as a small trader as a retail trader is um to get in sync with the market because you are not able to uh, to move the markets you you don't have billions on your account to move the market you have to get in sync with the market so that you are riding on the right waves and uh, not swimming against the tide and um that's what you want to say to us uh, you know don't fight against trends don't be a person who always is um yeah on the opposite of of um of the trend you know the markets with their decisions um are always right you as a trader are often on the wrong side of the market because your opinion about the market is the blocker and if you don't have an opinion and look more on price and on volume action and try to see what the market's doing the next days, that's better. And then you can go uh, in the direction of the market. Okay, um, I hope um, that this video helped you to understand uh, the world of Atsakota a little bit more. And I hope um, that my explanation and interpretation of the quotes uh, help you um, to, um, yeah, to work on your mindset because the job of quotes is really to change your mindset and uh, to get some inspiration and to think about and to build your mindset, um, your trading mindset. Okay, you can follow me on every channel you like youtube of course twitter um i also be uh, i also have a instagram account and a facebook account but i recommend to subscribe to my free newsletter i will send it out every sunday with trading tips and i also um show uh, four stocks um, from my personal watch list uh, so don't miss it and subscribe to my newsletter